switching back to the early composers. The next tune we're going to do is called Ruggiero, and it's by <coughs> another of the sort of foundation composers named Ernesto Nazareth. Nazareth was a piano player and a composer, and um, this tune uses a traditional Shoro rhythm called Mishish, although he didn't use that word, he called it a Brazilian tango. <laughs> but anyway, it, it is what it is, um, as they say. So um, uh, let's start. Quite wonderful in the Gwynwood Hall here. It's yes. just reverberating. Sorry. 
We're glad yeah. that we got to use this space in good old Lacey, Washington. Mm -hmm. Shout Lacey. out to Lacey. Shout out to Lacey. <laughs> and shout so, out to Bill for capturing this and making yeah. it happen. Thank you so yes. much, Bill Lane. LTA Productions. His able assistance. Mm -hmm. um, so the next tune we're going to do is yet another rhythm. It's a bayou. And it, the tune is called Teyu, which is the name of some kind of big lizard in Brazil. <laughs> And it was written by our friends, the Shore das Trace family. And for those of you who follow Shore, I mean, we do, I don't know if everybody does, it seems like you should. Everybody does. But if you do sure. follow Shore, you would have seen these girls from, for the last like 10 or 15 years um, making YouTubes when they're 10, 11, and 12 years old. You know, now they're older and they've been coming to the US for the last five years. Of course, not this year. But um, they um, generously allowed us to play this song of theirs. And we really like it. Mm -hmm. It's good. Too slow. Thank you. 
So uh, the next two tunes are by um, current composers who are friends of ours and, and teachers and the camps that we go to. And I was about to introduce a song before thinking about clarinets because the, the very next song is Waiting for Amalia, written by Anat Cohen. And Anat Cohen is a um, New York-based musician now living in Rio. And she tells us she wrote this song when she was in Rio. It's lovely, it's in a real hard key for clarinet, but <laughs> nevertheless, it sounds wonderful there, so uh, we're gonna do that song. Oh my, yes, four sharps? No more than that six. Oh, <laughs> six sharps for Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> Lisa does like a challenge, it's true.
friend of Anat's, a friend of ours, by Daniela Spielman. She is um, one of the shore musicians, women shore musicians and composers in Brazil. It's quite well known. She plays the sweetest soprano saxophone you've ever heard. And um, she was in Olympia a few years ago when she had a CD released. And this tune called Anatilda, and if you think about the name, the song is for Anat. So Anatilda is a nickname for Anat, and this is for her. Quite a different style. This is more jazzy. And let's have a groove. <laughs> Talk as a band or <laughs> <laughs> there's a 
all kinds of details. Yeah, too much music, not enough talk. <laughs> Lisa plays with them in Brazil That's true. on Zoom, which is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I play them with them in Brazil, actually. In yeah, that too. Yeah. That too. Um, yeah, yeah, they have been doing a Zoom class with um, Eduardo Nevis, another uh, Brazilian saxophone player. Things can happen on Zoom these days. It's very interesting. Yeah. And, they, and you know, all those people who would be normally touring or normally, uh, you know, Normally giving concerts and preparing all that are a lot less busy. So you can find them on the phone, you can find them on Zoom. Get um, lessons with them. You can get lessons with them, exactly. Yeah. So I mean some of our friends are doing that. Yeah. I know that Al Bergstein, maybe he's tuning in in um, Fort Townsend, he's taking lessons with Dudu Maya in Brasilia. So really all these things are much more available than they have been before. And also, um, at least I've figured out how to do recording, which I never really understood before, how to make recordings, videos of myself, and um, I think a lot of people are doing that too. So you see a lot of uh, shared music on the internet these days, some very, very professionally done. I myself don't understand the video aspect very much as far as splicing it, but um, you guys done any other recording that I don't know about? I I record lessons. <laughs> well, that's true for school. Learning. Yeah. Not with this amazing setup of sound, but and then I don't when we're alone in our Zoom meetings we don't have to wear our masks. But trust us we're smiling and we're you're smiling, smiling all the time. Yeah. We're smiling. <laughs> it's hard to have no expression other than eyes. I know. Um sorry. <laughs> don't be <laughs> nice. You can smile for it. Yes, yeah. this is doing smile for it. Yeah. Well all right, staying with um, very contemporaneous composers. The next one we're going to do is by Hermet Hermeto Pasquale. And Hermeto Pasquale is a Bolivian composer who lives near um, Rio de Janeiro, and he is one of Brazil's most unique and interesting modern composers. And he has written a lot of choros too. Um, he's written a lot of way out there Brazilian jazz. Um, uh, do you have anything to say about Hermeto, John? He what looks like Albert or? Einstein. Like and uh, really fun, but really challenging variations on normal chords. Why is it challenging? Pardon me? Why is it challenging? It's challenging because he throws in uh, a lot of alternative notes and in the chords and rhythms. And uh, I love playing it. It's, it's really fun. Great. Yep. Accidentals. A lot of accidentals, <laughs> as they call them. No accidents. No accidents. No, yeah, right. They're not accidents. <laughs> I take care of the accidents part. Yeah. All right, we're going to do another song, uh, which is in northern style. It's another dance style. The tune is called Foho Brazil by Hermeto Pascual, and it begins with the group. One, two, three, four, and three.
Please take like, a break. Oh. <laughs> take a break. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice job, Lisa. Yeah, that's a challenge. Challenging to find the air, you know. Yeah. Even though we know that. Challenge for me. So um, we're coming to the end, and I uh, just want to thank uh, the center, thank Bill and his group. Um, this has been really fun. We really have not had a chance to do something like this for a long time, and we hope you and the audience are having a good time. Um, thank you for tuning in. Are there lots of people there? Drivers? We have we have, we have a number. Yes. Good. good. <laughs> Hello, number. It's been fun to be here. Um, we wish you were here with us. And yes. We'll see oh. you with us. Yeah, they could use the dance floor. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. So mm -hmm. one other thing I want to mention, I did mention our CDs before, but there's beautiful pictures of them here and of the cameras picking them up. Um, they're available. There are CDs we made a few years ago. Um, and you can look at the, uh, the link in the chat, I think, to get them. We'd be love to send them to you. To contact us that way. Mm -hmm.